everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. We are actually headed to a little town called Milton, West Virginia. It's right outside of Huntington. And you could go 64, I-64, but I like the back roads, so we're going 60. And as you can tell, we're slowed down here a little bit. Got an ATV in front of me. But there's a couple notable things in Milton. First, there is a performing arts center. It used to be called the Pumpkin Center. And if you want to get on their website, they have notable national singing groups that come there to entertain. If you like gospel, like I do, like the Gaither Vocal Band, I've seen the Booth Brothers come there, the Hoppers, some really awesome groups. So check that out. Also, there's a huge flea market. It's, it's every weekend, Thursday through Sunday, and we will visit that. But today, we're headed to an internationally known glass company called Blinko. It, is, it has been there since 1921. The factory is still there, and they ship glass all over the world. It's beautiful. You can take tours of the factory. We're not going to do that today, but we are going to go in to look at some of the glass and look at the museum. If you do want to take a tour, you get online and sign up for a time slot. Like today is already full, so you might want to get on and do that. It's an old factory, over 100 years old, so there are stipulations. Like they said, you have to wear closed-toed shoes and certain things, but all that is explained on the website. I couldn't find out how much it cost. There's a cart to put your ticket in, but you had to go ahead and sign out. I couldn't find anywhere to find out how much it cost, but we will do that once we get here. So I hope you'll come along with me and going to drive into Milton here in just a minute and we'll see if there's some interesting things along the side of the road. I have seen antique shops there. So if you're in Huntington or near, come visit and I think you'd have a good time. Just pulled into Milton and it looks like they're having a citywide yard sale June 4th. So if you guys want to participate, I love flea markets and yard sales, things like that we've mentioned before if you all have ever watched American Pickers you just don't know what you can find people don't know what they have looks like there's barnyard barbecue here on the right it's a cute little town looks like there's a drive-in the old drive-in and look at this airplane And a machine gun. I think you all missed the machine gun. <laughs> it went by too fast. It was big. And up here on the left, there are quite a few antique shops in these old buildings on the left. We're going to take a right here on Bill Blanco Drive. Bill was actually the creator of Blanco Glass. He was born in 1853 in London and came to the United States and created the Blanco Glass Company. It also, the company provided glass for St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York. So the, the factory's been here since 1921. It says Glass Factory Tour, so we're going to take a right. This is, we're pulling up on the sign. It says Shopping, Tours, Museum, Office, Shipping, and Receiving. Look how old it is. You see the glass in the windows, the different colors? Look how old this is. Isn't that amazing? And the stacks, the fire stacks. Cross over the railroad track and go down the hill. To the museum. Pretty Lake. This is the visitor center. See the old architecture of the building. Okay, we've just walked in and it says there's restrooms, museum of glass, and stained glass display. So I'm just going to let you look at a little bit of it. It's just magnificent. Oh, look at this. 
Of course, you can buy any of these things. And they have, they make a commemorative, if I could talk, piece every year that they sell, and people wait in line. My dad has come up here and waited in line for hours for that commemorative piece that they do once a year that, that notates the special year. Or not special year, but each year they make one. So there's one going back, and that will be in the museum. You'll get to see that. I think somebody else is in here on the phone talking to someone. So they've got like each section has a different color and like I said you can you see this at a lot of different museums and different shops around that they do sell Blinko glass Hello. Is the museum upstairs? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Have a blessed day. You too. Okay, we're going to go upstairs and see the museum. So just head up. I want to show you some of the stained glass. Isn't that beautiful? Can you imagine? I mean, look at that. Looks like Mary and baby Jesus. There's a lamb. Now, this is not Blinko. This is... Hopcroft Studios, Kansas City, Missouri. So I guess they have different pieces from different companies. This one went out of business, and this was from San Antonio, Texas. So they tell if they're in business or they've gone out of business. This is the Conrad Schmidt Studio, and they are still in Wisconsin. So that's really interesting. I'm not gonna go through all of them. There's Jesus. A lot of these companies are still in business, which I love it. Now, they have the artists and they tell. this On the left, the red is Emma Walters. She worked here from 2017 to the present and Andrew Schaefer, who started in 2017 to the present. And these are the artists that has done, have done these pieces. Now, remember what I told you? It's called the West Virginia Birthday Pieces. Each year, Blinko Glass produces a unique piece to celebrate West Virginia Day, which occurs on June 20th. Each piece is individually numbered and signed. One piece is produced for each year of statehood, starting in June 20th, 1863, the day West Virginia was admitted to the Union. So see, it has every year. And like I said, I've seen my dad come up and stand um, and get a piece for, I can't remember who he was getting for. I think it was a, a special pastor at a church and they'd ask him to come up here and get that. But look, this, this is 1980, 2010. Oh, look at 1996. They're on the other side too, so we'll go around. I'll let you take a look at those. walk into the glass blowing area and see what happens. Wow, pretty cool. You can hear it. You see the hot ovens back here. You know where they melt the glass. Wow, pretty cool. Don't see anybody doing anything and it might be reserved for actual people that are taking the tour. All right, it looks like everybody's back, whether they're gonna blow glass or not. I've, I've left and come back. I think they were all, oh, this guy's working on one over here. All right, let's watch him.
while we're here now the Milton flea market is right there see the huge sign but it's not open today but I wanted to show you this really cool market I've been here before it's called a halfway market but it's just one of those old timey stores that just have things that you can't get in a national grocery store. So we're gonna go in and take a look. They have a greenhouse too. So if you wanna come up and get flowers, you can do that. Like I said, it's right beside the Milton Flea Market, which will come up maybe tomorrow. Oh, pretty flowers. Let's see what the prices are. I don't know if they're gonna be marked or not. See if we can compare them to like Walmart or something. I'm not seeing any prices. Or maybe they're on the side of the buckets. They are not. Okay, they just have what they are, you know, the species or whatever. So, there's the greenhouse. We're gonna go on in and take a look. I just asked, the plants outside are different prices, but they're very reasonable, and then I asked for about these pies and they are made homemade pies from a lady out of Olive Hill, Kentucky. So you can get homemade blackberry raisin pie. I have never had raisin pie. Blackberry pie. Never had blackberry pie. We might have to get one of these. Oh and this peanut butter pie, coconut pie, cookies and cream pie. Let you take a look a lot around. It's really awesome. Then we've got some Australian natural soaps over here. We're gonna walk through and let you take a look. Got some cutlery. This is jelly cheeses and meats. Okay, got potato candy. Now my mom's made that before. I don't know if you ever had it. Got some chocolate fudge. And it says Dutch Delights. And hats. You coming this way? Mind your way? No, I'm just taking my time. <laughs> I got you. Oh, that's some really pretty furniture. Looks, um, these Adirondack. These smell like cedar, because I can smell them. Y'all know what cedar smells like. Which you definitely, I think it withstands the elements and rain, and that's where a lot of times they put them in closets, because they, um, moths don't like cedar. Now, and then they've also got just the plastic. Got your bulk items. Chocolate marshmallow dehydrated. Hmm. A lot of candy. Look at that Amish carriage up there. This is, they have Amish cheese. That's got to be good. There is just a ton of stuff in here. Just walk around a little bit. And I'm gonna say, well this is Walnut Creek cheese. Look at this old Model T. Or maybe it's a Model A. Y'all tell me, I have no idea. I'm gonna walk around to the front of it. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna walk around the side of this court. It does say Ford. It's got a crank, but I don't know what it is definitely a truck we got sacks of pinto beans and all kinds of produce do y'all want to see what's along the walls yeah don't know if you do or not we'll start back here and take a look they do have a lot of produce Of candy. Now I wanted to show you, you can also get um, pick and mix candy for $4.99 a pound. So you can like fill your bag with whatever kind of candy you want. Some of this is probably, you know, it's hard to find. So jawbreakers, y'all remember that stuff. I don't even know what it is. So little mints, taffy, bubble gum. I love bubble gum. <laughs> They're pretty neat. I just wanted to show you around. Let you take a look at it. We'll go out and look for a minute at the um, greenhouse. I was going to show you too. Do y'all remember the gum blackjack, clove, and Beeman's? 
gum. You don't see that much in Reed's candy. Butterscotch root, butterscotch, root beer, cinnamon, and peppermint. I hope you enjoyed our quick tour to Milton, West Virginia today. It's about 10 miles out of Huntington to Blinko Glass and the country store. We will come back and do the flea market. But remember that God loves you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Have a blessed day until I see you again. Bye.